Hey guys, what's going on? We're back here for progress video 5. This video is mainly going to be about my leveling progress over these past few days. Pretty much, I started out training mage by doing agility and alking, but I soon realized that was kind of boring and I was tired of alking, so I moved on to superheating, which I found was more cost efficient and effective, and I also think I was getting more XP per hour. Anyway, after several hours of doing superheats, I finally got to 82 mage and was able to start using that in PK. And the only quest that I've done in a while was Ava's Accumulator. And obviously you guys know that you really, really want that when you're training range. And I knew that I would be training range in the near future to get my HP up. So overall, the quest wasn't too bad. The quest can be dangerous depending on how many PKers are at at the time. But luckily me and my friend did not run into any trouble. After I got Ava's, I moved on to train range at Guards in Varok Palace from 40 to 50 and then quickly moved on to training on terror birds in the gnome stronghold i was actually really surprised at how good the xp was here i know most of you guys already know this training spot but i would definitely recommend it if you are training range or melee that works too and honestly it felt like only a couple hours until i got 70 range here the one thing about this training spot is sometimes pkers will come on the other side of the wall that's not safe and they will attack you with Entangle and a charged uh, God spell. But as long as you have food and you're not AFKing, you really should be fine. In this clip, I actually saved this guy by just quickly taking aggro from the mage off of him. The other day, I was actually attacked, but I was able to get away because I had food and I was not AFK. They usually go for level 40 to 50s that will have low HP and they can kill with just one Entangle. Because if you survive the Entangle, all you have to do is run east and you're safe because they can't attack you from that range anymore also just a quick tip if you guys did not know you can go to options and go to clicking options and then change your player attack options to hidden so that you don't accidentally attack them anymore also you can change your mpc attack options to make it left click if you don't have your settings on left click for mpcs i would highly recommend it as it really brings in a higher xp rate per hour and just makes it easier to train in general and boom, 80 range. Guys, that really didn't take that long at all. I was expecting longer, but the XP was just flowing in. Of course, with the five times rate, it just makes it a lot easier. In addition, the XP per hour is exponential because you're getting levels faster and you're more accurate and do more damage every level. Just real quick, I wanted to show you guys where not to train and then where to train when you're here at Terror Birds in the Gnome Stronghold. Pretty much this area right here that I'm at uh, is very dangerous because the PKers come to the west of me and they're right against the fence. This gives them more time to attack you and DPS you down. So pretty much what you want to do is come on this side of the fence, the east side, if you're going to want to be really safe. Again, you should have food and not AFK when you're here. But if you're not looking at the screen too much and you just want to make sure that you're 100% safe, you can just go on this east side of the fence here and attack the birds from over the fence. You don't take any damage and the XP is pretty much the same as long as it's not too crowded. The last couple days that I've been training here, I really haven't had too much of a problem with overcrowdedness. Uh, it really depends on how many players are actually on at that time, so you guys can probably judge it pretty easily. And if a world is too crowded, you can just hop to the next one. So guys, here I am just at the bank real quick. I uh, just wanted to show you what my gear is like, because I will be PKing later tonight. Uh, that's why I got up to 80 range, and obviously I have the 82 magic um, prayer still a little lacking, um, but I will be getting that up soon, as well as defense a little bit. I'm saving up also for 75 HP. I'm trying to um, save money for that because I want to get that insurance. I don't want to be dying with 80 range, 82 mage, and like a high HP level and not being able to protect either one of these. Uh, that would just be horrible. So, um, again, this is just my gear. Uh, pretty good, honestly. This is going to be doing some nice damage. I'll be going with my friend again. We will be multi-PKing. And uh, I'm just looking forward to it because right now we're both decked out. We have good gear. We have good stats. So we're just looking to rake in the bank. Um, it's time to start making some more money um, because I need to be able to have money to buy the runes for 94 mage so again looking forward to that but anyway um i will see you guys later look out for a new pkang vid one will be coming soon um we'll be doing some recording tonight and hopefully we can get some juicy loot 
Make sure to subscribe and like this video up if you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.